Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. I'm going to try to be quick because the San Francisco Giants are playing the San Diego Padres right now. Um, it's the bottom of the first and the Giants just uh, drove home uh, Angel Pagan on a sacrifice fly by Buster Posey. Um, so I want to be quick because I want to watch this game because... The Giants' magic number is one. So if they win tonight, they are going to the playoffs. I mean, they're probably going to go anyways. But it's just kind of a, a magical thing. Oh, wow, what's that? Fly ball driving someone else home? Yeah, so now it's 2-1 uh, Giants. See, it's that quick. Um, but anyways, I, I did want to get a video out to you guys. In a little bit, Kara and I are going to be uh, barbecuing some hot dogs, and it's been unseasonably warm for the uh, first day of fall, um, and so, you know, I didn't really want to go with a white wine just because of the hot dogs. I wanted some sort of red, but I also wanted something just more lively, more vibrant, you know? I didn't want anything really dark and dense and just over the top. Um, and so I was thinking, why not try this? This was uh, $9 at Trader Joe's. It's the uh, 2010 Dynamic Red Table Wine. It's 66% Cabernet Sauvignon and 64% Syrah uh, from uh, Lake County. The reason why I was really attracted to this was just because this... Uh, this winery right here, Dynamic, they do use all biodynamically farmed grapes. Um, and I was thinking, you know, there's a lot of talk about biodynamics and, and organics and about natural wines. But I think in general, really, it's just a philosophy um, that I like about wine. Trying to be as minimalist as possible, taking this minimalist approach and really just letting the earth and letting the... Um, the fruit itself and, and the season kind of kind of speak to you. Um, I'm not expecting this wine to be over the top at all, and I think it is going to be nice on a on a relatively warm day. I don't think it's going to be. Uh, it's not like you know drinking milk while you're going for a jog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, screw top, so you know I love it. Now color wise, you know. There's a, a nice chunk, a nice hunk of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon in there. And so sure enough, we are getting this really dark, dense, purpley red type of color. Um, I can see my fingers a little bit through this. So uh, light is passing through, but it's definitely a, a darker red. And on the nose, I am getting kind of like a, a meat type of component, like a smoky, like bacon or um, or cured meat, which I mean, if, if I'm about to have hot dogs, that's kind of a, a nice little play there. I am getting like some, uh, some black cherry. I am getting some uh, dark plums. And a little bit of that barnyard, a little bit of that earth, a little bit of that soil. So I'm, I'm liking what I'm smelling so far. For $9, it's, it's smelling better than that. Now uh, let's give it a whirl. And this is really kind of what I expected on the palate. I mean... There is this nice, just lively acidity that is is continuing to, you know, slice up the side and the top of my mouth um, with that acidity. Um, but then there are these nice, like, dark fruit components. Um, a little raisiny, uh, if you know what I'm saying. It's kind of like a... a kind of like a prune, like a, like a dried out plum kind of taste to it. There is that earth, there is this mushroomy component. I mean, all around, this is just a nice wine, and it's not trying to be anything over the top. It's not trying to blow your face off. It's really just kind of speaking to the land where this fruit came from. And I mean, sometimes, really, that's all I want. 
um, when it comes to a wine. I don't want anything that's just just trying to be a world beater. I'm just trying to, you know, find something that's rocking my world. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, so score wise, I'm throwing this in like the. Uh, I'm giving it like an 88 plus. I mean, this is definitely a solid wine and definitely worth your ducats. So, uh, you know, give it a try. Good to talk to you guys. It's been a while and I promise I am going to put a few more of these out uh, sooner than later. Uh, so leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Pick up this wine. I've seen it at T. Joe's uh, plenty of times. I'm sure they are not uh, selling out of this uh, anytime soon. But it is, it's, it's really good. So everybody, stay rad.